got DeAndre here. Uh, we've already got the one hand up, so we'll go ahead and get to that. Anybody else needs a question, go ahead and put yours up as well. Eric? Uh, hey, DeAndre. So I just wanted to ask you what you know about Auburn's running backs in terms of their patience in the backfield and how that may affect your preparation in terms of things like uh, fulfilling your gap assignments and the speed and how you do that, or maybe just how you read, how plays are um, going on in the backfield. Um, Auburn, they have, they have some good backs. Um, a, he's, he's a pretty, he's smaller, he's a smaller back, but he's, he's still pretty quick. And the other two backs are kind of, kind of bigger, but um, during preparation, I just try to get, get my fits right. And I'm, I'm fit, fit them all the same, you know, just come down and play how I've been playing it. Eli. Hey, DeAndre. Um, so I know this is going to be an emotional weekend for you guys. Uh, going to be honoring Chris uh, each week by wearing his number. Obviously, you're going to be the first one to be doing that. Uh, one, what does that mean to you? What's it going to mean to you to put on the number 22 jersey? And uh, two, how, how tough has it been for you? Because I know you guys came in uh, the same season and been uh, playing side by side with each other for the last few years. So just how has it been without having him on the field with you? Uh, first off, it's a, it's an honor to uh, wear his jersey on Saturday, and um, it's been it's been tough uh, because I know um, he's working hard and he he wants to be out here and just going through practices and uh, not having him out there. It's it's kind of tough, but you know um, we just we just come out there every every day every week just work hard for him and knowing that he's working hard on his own. Hi, DeAndre. Coach White was talking about how hyped up everybody's going to be on that first series, how everybody's going to be breathing hard, they're going to blowing, be blowing out lungs. Uh, what are you looking to accomplish that first series, and how are you going to be able to keep yourself calm? Uh, I'm, looking, I'm looking to set the tone of the first series. Uh, I'm, I'm going to keep myself calm. I mean, I've, I've been here before. It's not my first go around. So it's nothing new. It's just another game for me. And uh, I'm just just ready to set the tone of the first series. You're going to be excited about being able to actually hit a quarterback for a change? Yeah, I'm, I'm going I'm to be very excited. All right, do you have any more questions? Josh? Hey, DeAndre, it's been a while since we've gotten to – speak with you, just those guys behind you, Quez and, and Jared, just what do you see in developmentally? How, how far along are those guys? And, and you know, being the tone setter, you know, how have they kind of followed along with what you're, you know, trying to do? Um, those guys, they, they came along uh, pretty well. It took them, took them a while to get the hang of it, but they, they seem up to beat now. And they, they take my leadership well. Um, they, they work hard every day. They come. They come every day prepared to just go, and they attack every day. So I mean, I feel like they, they're they're pretty good right now. John Clay, DeAndre, is there an area where you really want to improve this year? Uh, was there a particular area in, in camp that you worked on the, where I want to be a better player in this area in 2020? Um, just being very consistent. Uh, I was I showed flashes last year, and I just want to be consistent. I want to be make plays consistently and do my job consistently. That's that's the biggest focus point I had this offseason. Hey, DeAndre, having you know lined up across from the other guys all during camp, is there maybe a player or two that we might be really excited to see on Saturday from your guys' offense? Um, I know y'all will be excited for uh, Terry Wilson's return. That's one guy. I mean, I really, I just say the whole offense. I mean, they've been spectacular this whole um, fall. And it's, just, it's been great going against them guys because it's a lot of high caliber guys on that offense. So the whole offense. Right. Thank you. Come on. 
Auburn likes to play with a lot of tempo. What's the biggest challenge in, in dealing with a, a team like that, an offensive like like that? Um, just just getting back set and getting back the line so you can play the next down. Because um, you're going to have people that's tired. You're going to have people that's not getting the call. So just getting the call and getting back set is probably going to be the biggest challenge. All right. Anybody else? All right. One more. Curtis? Yeah, DeAndre, um, I'm curious how many of your shirts are now cutoffs like you're wearing right now since you put on that extra weight this offseason? Uh, I, got, I got a lot of cutoffs. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, how, how much will that help you, that, that extra bulk that you got to, to put on? How much is that going to help you on the field? Uh, I feel like it'll help me a lot because I'm now I'm now able to take on like I could take on more plays, more hits, and I can I feel like I can do more damage now. So I like the new way. All right, appreciate it, DeAndre. Coach Deuce will be tomorrow, and then.